Today's profile, gentlemen, this is a good one. They're all good, let's be <laughs> yeah. honest. But Dean this Windass is, and Dion yeah, Dublin was yeah. the best. Look, come on! <laughs> um, some might call this man the Divine Ponytail. Oh, oh Bobby right. Baggio. Bobby Baggio. Don't call him... I used to, they used to call him Robbie Baggio. One of the Robbie people. Baggio, isn't it? No, I don't care. He's, <laughs> his brother's Eddie Baggio. And that's Dino right. Baggio. Dino Baggio. Baggio. No, they weren't no, related, no, were they? No, no, no. no. Fool. All oh, right, sorry. Uh, born February the 18th, 1967. He started his career at... Do you know? Which uh, he started his career Sorry. at um, Atalanta, no Brescia, no Chievo, no Genoa, no. Fiorentina, uh, other on, Italian Bologna. clubs, no Vicenza. Ah, oh, Vicenza. Yeah. Started his close. It's only a matter of time before we got there. Yeah. Let's get straight onto the scoring record. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's what we're all about. Yeah, with the profile. Vicenza, he started um, 46 appearances. Mm -hmm. Sorry, do you know what age he started? Did he break through young? Because that's quite rare in Italy, isn't it? Players take quite a long. Well, he was time born in 1967. Yeah, he started in 1982. So he was you do the math. Fifteen. Yeah. Bloody hell. So he started at um, Vicenza very young, but he obviously didn't break into the first team straight away. Forty-six appearances, fifteen goals. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not. Not the best one. You know, for each of his tender years. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We can't just. We can't just keep basing this on goals though. No, 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 of course not. An awesome player. No, no, no. There's plenty more to talk about. That's why he's in the player profile. For, yeah, you know, absolutely. He wouldn't be here if he wasn't a brilliant player. Exactly. It's a hallowed mm. position. Mm. As you know, Dion Dublin will testify. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, then he moved on to Fiorentina, and this is when it really began. Fiorentina. Um, this is when he he rose to cult status among the fans, and they can and Fiorentina they consider him one of his best one of the best mm. players ever, which is not really. Too, too, far too surprising, yeah. really. I mean, our Batistuta's got the statue outside, not Baggio, yeah. you know, but I'm still... Yeah, yeah. Carl Svelderama cleans it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, for, for Fiorentina, he played 135 games and scored 55 goals. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not bad, he's getting... Mm. Yeah. He was always about <clears throat> more than goals, though, Baggio, wasn't he? Was oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What year did he leave Fiorentina? He left Fiorentina in 1990. Okay. Around that, and that was when he really started to come into his own. That's when he was, when he was one of the best players in the world. Yeah, that's mm. when that's when you're really talking about. Because at World Cup ninety, you know, the best players at World Cup ninety were Roberto Baggio, well, Paul Gascoigne, and Leif Mateus. <coughs> they were the best definitely Mateus and Klinsman as well. You, you, you'd say um, that about Baggio. He d he wasn't a regular starter in that Italian side, but he certainly did make an impact though. And the, the, he's scored a couple of goals against Czech Republic. Just look at the way he glides from deep, <laughs> shimmying past defenders, and the ice cool finish. <laughs> <laughs> to be followed by the inevitable white hot celebration. Yeah, yeah, the you see. Yeah, awesome goal, one of my favourites That ever. kind of commentary only surrounds good players. Oh, by the way, Barry Davis is doing the commentary for the yeah. Olympics. Is What's he? He's doing hockey. He's You're joking. I knew he stopped doing football to do stuff like that, but I thought he'd surely have retired from that. What's he playing at, doing that? Hockey, at the Olympics. His decision? He should be doing the Premier League. He's laughing. He's sitting in a big bowl of money as he commentates, <laughs> and that's what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't blame him. I mean, it's pretty cool going to China and doing that, but I mean, come can't on. Can't a goldfish bowl. Our loss is hockey, Olympic hockey's gain. That's Massive gain. Saying. Sorry, go on. Massive gain. No, you're absolutely right, though. Um, I love this. Um, next bit. When he was sold to Juve, there was such an outcry from the Fiorentina fans. He was sold for £12 million. A lot of money back then, eh? A mm. massive amount, yeah. Oh, damn it, it's a transfer. <laughs> right? And, uh, anyway, um, but following this transfer, on the Fiorentina fans that was on the streets of Florence, it was full-scale riots. They always do that. 50 people were injured. That's crazy, man. That, but, that's right. But that just doesn't happen here. No. Nah. But can you imagine that's how much they loved him? Yeah. You, just terrible to, to sell him, but Baggio replied to his fans. This is great. He replied to his fans by saying... I was compelled to accept the trend. Oscar Wilde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They offered me more money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've you know, the old lady of Italian football, so you know you can see why he went. Yeah. <laughs> you got to love that nickname, the old lady. Yeah. Um, and then in 90, 93 was a good year for him. European uh, club trophy he won the UEFA Cup, and uh, European Football of the Year and FIFA World Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. So that, that, yeah, fantastic. So what's his overall record for Juve? Uh, sorry, Juventus, yeah. Uh, 201 appearances, 115 goals. Brilliant. That is good. That is decent. Yeah. Especially that was a really, that was when Serie A was really, decent. really good. Yeah. And the defences were really tight. And that's yeah. a bit of a cliche, but I think it's it was true. a lot more oh, true back right. then. I think absolutely, right. absolutely superb. Uh, I think that also, um, Roberto Baggio, I mean, you're probably going to talk about the rest of his career now, but 
I love the fact that he had that real good season towards the end of his career where he, there was touts yeah. for him to join the World Cup squad. Pressure, wasn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get on to that gentleman. He went gentleman. back to like a big club, I think. We'll get on to that gentleman. So he moved to AC Milan after that. Um, well, that's weird, isn't it? What's that? It, this, it seems to happen quite a lot in Italian football. Yeah. You get players who go to a lot of Italian clubs, yeah. Mi- both Milan's and Juventus. Well, the same happens in Spain a bit more. England's really the only one that doesn't do that so much. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, 97. Um, he was sort of after he left after AC Milan. He scored 19 goals in 67 appearances. He didn't, he didn't have the best of times. He was on a bit of a downer. Um, so he went. He went to Bologna to try and get his career. He did well at again. Bologna, and that's when he really had his Indian summer. And didn't he go back to like? Um, he, he went to Bologna for like a year. He did. Yeah. He tested me now. He mm. went to Bologna for like a year, but then didn't he go back somewhere big? I don't think it was. Well, he went back to Inter, didn't he? Well, he, went, he was at Bologna for a year. He went back to Inter, didn't he? He played 33 games for Bologna and yeah. scored 23 goals. Yeah, he was brilliant. And yeah. it was like he had like a real, a real like Indian summer in his career. And people yeah. were going, he's got to be in the Italian squad again. Well, he did. And that got him in the 98 Italian squad. And he was he was quite heavily criticised because Del Piero was picked up over him, really, as the starting lineup for that yeah. squad. And uh, But he's he, he scored um, in that World Cup and he became... Um, the only Italian player ever to score in three World three World Cups and nine World Cup goals he's got. That's good. Which is decent, yeah. Tamari went after... Thing. He did go to Inter Milan, Yeah, I thought, right. it, I thought it was that. But again, he didn't have the best of times. He's 62 appearances, 18 goals. Um, but then he went to Brescia. Yeah, yeah. he was good and, again. And he 100 appearances, 46 goals. And that was in the twilight of it. So what's his overall uh, national scoring record? Well, and for Italy, 50, uh, uh, this is impressive. 56 appearances, 27 goals. Decent, that is yeah. good. That is I very was good. absolutely gutted for him. And uh, the Italian... Uh, sorry. 94. 94. 94. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The final. That was... Oh, it's really out of so character for him as well. Really out of character. He's, you talk about a man who can strike the ball so well. He's got a free kick game on the internet after, named after him. Yeah, I'm glad. So there's no way he should be missing the penalty. I'm glad you. Magical kicks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Magic is brilliant. Yeah, it's a great game. Don't if if you're if if you've not got time to kill, don't play it. No, because it's addictive. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's the most I've unproductive. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's how good he is. He's yeah. got his own sort of free kick game on the internet. Brilliant. That's what I aspire to. That'd be rubbish if it was mine, though. And do you know what? It, 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 after be literally he... impossible to <laughs> hit the wall. <laughs> oh, you hit the wall! But um, Brescia, um, after he finished playing, his number ten jersey has been has been retired. They love like, a bit of that, don't yeah. they? They do. It's probably buried in like. That's why you see weird Italian shirts like number seventy four every yeah. now and then. Yeah. But incredible, absolutely incredible. But you're right though, 94 World Cup you've got to mention because he's one of the players of the tournament. Yeah. And to he miss really that pen, like he was injured in the final. He probably yeah. shouldn't have played. There was talk of him taking a bung to miss that. There was, wasn't there? But I can't. I just, I'm not saying I, I agree with it. I'm just saying no. There was, there was talk. He's also as a proud Italian that, and also a Buddhist <laughs> as well. He's yeah. a Buddhist. As oh, well, he is. Yeah. yeah. Well, hence the, the, the divine ponytail. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's why. Because it, it took a bit. It took him a while to sort of come to life didn't it in that tournament but when he did he was absolutely on amazing. fire yeah he's amazing it was a different class they had yeah. a great side I mean, I mean um, I'm really pleased we've done this actually because it really reminds me of how much I love Roberto Baggio yeah yeah. he um, <clears throat> incidentally he wrote an autobiography entitled and I feel that the translation into English perhaps doesn't work <laughs> a goal in the sky but also a gate I hope that is a very literal translation and it, <laughs> it doesn't really be. work in Italian <laughs> <is> it? <laughs> um and and without a shadow of a doubt, that is my book of the week. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, on his fortieth um, birthday, which was um, two thousand seven, he started a new website um, just to talk to fans. Uh, with so he's he doesn't intend to Facebook. Re- re- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't return. He would want anything to do with mainstream football anymore. He'd rather just exchange words with his fans on blogs and, and one thing and another. If I was him, I'd just watch myself on YouTube all day. Yeah. That's a good point as well. Do you know what, right? Here's a little statistic. Um, he scored 86% of his penalties. Um, and he took, out of 122 penalties, he scored 106. I don't know. I, I've is that never any good? thought about that stat before. Yeah, I, don't I, mean, know. I don't know about his As a striker, is Taking that, that many penalties. Sounds, right? I mean, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a surprisingly yeah. big amount of penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he obviously missed the one that really mattered, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not taking anything away from him. But, but um, okay, So let's run through his honours. What's he won quickly? And we'll give him a statutory round of applause. Copper Italia, UEFA Cup. Um, couple of UEFA Cup was a bigger deal back then as well. It was a big yeah. deal back then, yeah. UEFA Cup, Winners' Cup, top goal scorer. European Football of the Year. FIFA World Player of the Year. And uh, 
FIFA top 100. Oh yeah, the top 100. Yeah, he, he was players, in there. But yeah. I mean, that's that's, a, that's obviously a given. And, and um, the football tally gave him in the all-time Italy starting eleven. You know, so all, all kind of rules like that, really. Roberto Baggio. Absolutely, absolutely. And now his career is complete. Yeah, because mm. he's been given the ultimate accolade. He can go back to his blogs <laughs> <with> his <fans. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and download the ramble. <laughs>